This is WeGo, a low-cost, high-speed train operator offering train services at 300 km per hour from just 9 euros. Come along as we explore all the features and highlights of this journey, as I take WeGo into great value first class on the route from Madrid to Valencia. Hello and good morning from the Madrid Chamatin railway station, where the sun is just about to rise and we are gonna head down to Valencia with WeGo. Outside on the station forecourt, there's a nice display by the Spanish rail infrastructure manager on various rail projects they are working on. Make sure to check it out if you have the time. But I do hope that the track from here to Valencia is better than this track on display. Anyway, let's head inside the station and find our train. Chamatin railway station is one of Madrid's largest railway stations, serving some of the high-speed lines as well as long-distance services on the regular network towards Spain's north, as well as a lot of Madrid's commuter railway lines. But sadly, it's much more bland and boring compared to the other major railway station at Atosha. Consulting the departure board, we see our train is leaving from track number 16, but before we go and catch it, let me show you some of the station facilities. There are ticket machines, but not for WeGo, so make sure you have booked ahead online. There's a limited amount of seating, so don't arrive too early for your train. There's plenty of vending machines if you want something quick to go, but there will also be an onboard cafe on the train. It's looking like it's gonna be a beautiful morning for some train travel, so let's head down to the platform. As with all high-speed trains in Spain, you have to pass through a quick security check before being allowed onto the platform. It's normally fairly quick, and you can still bring your liquids and stuff like that through it. Here on the other side, we can take the stairs down to the platform. There's also lifts and escalators, should you require that. Tickets are checked on the platform before you're allowed to board the train. So have your ticket ready and prepare to wait for a little bit. And unlike most train services, WeGo has luggage size restrictions and sometimes they do check and weigh them at the platform before you board, so make sure you're within the limits. Once through the ticket check, you just walk to your carriage and board the train normally. Our train is a staggering 20 carriage long and has seating capacity for over a thousand passengers. These trains are Alstom TGV Euro duplexes, capable of speeds of up to 320 km per hour. They compete against the likes of Renfe, which operates Spanish Talgo high-speed trains on the same route. My seat is located in coach number 2, which was towards the very back of the train. So let's head on board. We'll be sitting on the upper deck today, which is where some of the first class seats are located. Right, here we are at my seat. Bienvenidos al Universo Wigon. Os habla la tripulación. Nuestro destino es Valencia, Joaquín Soraya. Os informamos que no está permitido fumar a bordo ni el uso de cigarrillos electrónicos. Para todos aquellos viajeros con mascota, os recordamos que deben viajar debajo del asiento en el regazo. Y siempre dentro de su transporte, muchas gracias. Welcome to the Wigon Universe. This is the speaking for our destination. We leave Chamatin station right on time and head for the city tunnel that would take us under central Madrid and onto the high speed line towards Valencia. We emerge from the tunnel and run through some of Madrid's southern suburbs. And it's shaping up to be a pleasant spring day here in Spain. We spent some time zigzagging along existing railway corridors in the south of Madrid before we joined the Levant high-speed line towards Valencia, which opened in 2010. And now that I'm talking about the route anyway, let's take a closer look at it, shall we? We are on board WeGo train 6472, 
which very simply starts here from the madrid Chamatin railway station and runs direct without any intermediate stops to valencia Sorolla. The trip is scheduled to take 1 hour and 49 minutes to cover the distance of 399 km, which gives the train an average speed of a whopping 220 km per hour. It's not long after we have left Madrid, we reach our top speed on today's journey of 300 km per hour. There's just something so fascinating about traveling at these high speeds and just watching the scenery fly by. And the best way to do that is from a comfortable seat. The Wego ones in first class feature a massive tray table that's very sturdy. There's also a footrest. And you will find a power circuit out by the wall. The seats do offer a bit of recline and are very well padded. These are some truly excellent first class seats and very comfortable. And when we dive into fares at the end of the video, I'm sure you'll agree the small surcharge for them is worth the price. During the journey, make sure to keep your eyes out for the Contreras viaducts on the right hand side when traveling towards Valencia. Completed along with the high speed line in 2010, these viaducts take trains and cars over the reservoir of the same name. Anyway, let me go and show you around the rest of the train. So here we are in first class which comes both on upper deck and lower deck. On the lower deck variant of first class there's also some accessible seating, as well as an accessible toilet. However, these trains are not step free on the inside, so I'm not really sure how that works if you're in a wheelchair. Anyway, let's head to the Wii Bar, or Onboard Cafe. This is located on the upper deck towards the middle of the train. Small snacks and drinks are on offer here, which seems to be a decent offering considering we are only going on a just under 2 hour journey today. It's also a nice place to sit and watch the scenery go by. On the other side of the Wii Bar, we can go into second class. This is laid out in a very standard 2 plus 2 layout and also looks fairly comfortable for the 2 hour journeys these trains do. Again, second class both comes on the upper deck as well as the lower deck. And there's not much difference to them on the lower deck. As you can see, the train is also fitted with plenty of luggage storage, which is heavily used. And of course, no train review is complete without a look at the toilet. On Wego, there's a nice simple locking mechanism. But I could not seem to get the water working at the sink. However, the toilet itself is fairly clean and the flush is working. But not being able to wash your hands kinda sucks we go. So I'm gonna have to give this a thumbs down. We're now fast approaching Valencia, so it's time to talk about fares. Tickets are easily bought online on the WeGo website and you can easily view the cheapest available fares, which starts at 9 euros for this journey. If you want to travel in first class, you can just, during the booking process, select an XL seat for a small surcharge of 7 euros, bringing the total cost of this train trip to 16 euros, which I think is outstanding value for a trip on a high speed train for 2 hours. WeGo is owned by French railway company SNCF and also operates trains in France, but despite using the exact same booking website to book WeGo trains in France, you can only use the French version of the website despite already being translated into English and Catalan for the Spanish trains. Ugh, I hate when railway companies do stupid shit like this. Anyway, enough ranting about France. Spain has one of the most competitive high-speed railway networks in the entire world. Competing with Wego is Spain's national railway company Renfe's low-cost brand Avlo. You can watch my video on their trains and how to travel on board their secret first-class cabin by clicking the card in the top right hand corner. I also have videos coming from Renfe's regular trains as well as Eerio in the future, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you don't want to miss them. An interesting thing to note about Spain's high speed network is that it uses standard gauge, where the most of the legacy network uses Iberian gauge. This means that Spain has a few variable gauge high speed trains 
that can change gauge on the move by passing slowly through one of these white box facilities right here. This also means we are now arriving into Valencia's railway station about a minute early. Thank you so much for joining me on today's trip. If you want to follow my travels in real time, go follow me over on Twitter where I post live for my travels. It's also a great place to get a sneak peek at what videos might be coming in the future. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, I try to upload a new video every Sunday. Thanks for watching!